<laughs> All right. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Okay. Good morning. Ayan. So, good morning again for our fifth natural doctor, Dr. Air. Then let's start our, you know, our, our episode today with few minutes of a good breathing technique. So, you know, to understand whether you're breathing using your diaphragm, um, you can lie on your back. So, pwede tayong humiga and then you can place your one hand on your chest and then your other hand on your stomach. So, now take a deep breath in through your nostrils to the count of four. One, two, three, four. Yeah. So, is your stomach rising on your chest? Or your chest is rising? So, ideally, dapat tumataas yung stomach natin. So, it has to be... And if you are taking a very deep breath, your chest should rise. If you breathe deeply in your in your upper chest, your shoulders will move up. Yeah. Okay. So again, let's do it again. This kind of breathing. Inhale. One, two, three, four. And then exhale through your mouth. One, two, three, four. So what you want to focus on is that the stomach pushes out first. When you exhale, you should be pushing the breath out and visualize sucking the tummy button into your backbone. And then again, let's do this again. Take a nice deep breath in through your nose. Four, three, two, one. And then exhale through your mouth. One, two, three, four. Huh. So the exhale is just as important as the inhale. So only when you exhale properly and fully, you can breathe out the toxins like carbon dioxide. And then allow, this allows fresh oxygen to, to flood back into your body. And then just... Uh, because of this, you are using the lower lobes of your lungs. Yeah, and then through this kind of an event of this breathing, you are also emptying them fully and then refilling them makes for optimum oxygenation. So if you think you're doing it right, just comment below. So kailang pag nag inhale. Lalaki yung chan natin and then pag nag-exhale tayo, masasuck in yung chan natin, liliit yung chan natin. Yun ang tamang pag-inhale at exhale. Alright, so dapat pag nag-inhale tayo through our nostrils. Yan. Inhale through your nostrils and then exhale through your mouth. Yan. Alright, so... Let's just do this for 10 cycles, this technique. Okay? So after 10 cycles, go back to your normal breathing. Okay. All right. When you're done with your 10 cycles of breathing, go back to your normal breathing and yes. All right. So how does it feel, ladies? Dr. Janice and JM, kamusta? Ang ating good. Diba? So yung feeling yeah, ba? Oh, oh. 
Ang sarap talaga kapag you are breathing consciously kasi you get you get to get in touch with yourself, with your body, with Mother Earth and syempre sa divine. So very important ang conscious breathing. And yes. thank you for leading us uh, at breathing exercise this morning. Yes, this breathing technique is also called Tama ba, Dok Jan? Is diaphragmatic breathing? No? Okay. Y- well, yeah, hindi ako breathing. masyadong familiar kasi masyadong madaming mga different kinds ng breathing technique, no? And they serve different purpose as well. Depende sa needs ng bawat individual. Pero yeah, let's just call the breathing technique na, na you taught us yung yogic breathing or yung yeah. diaphragmatic breathing and meron pala akong ano trivia when it comes to dun sa nabanggit mo na kung ano yung naunang tumataas if it's the stomach yeah. area or the chest the area chest no uh, um, ang trivia natin dyan though hindi naman siya scientific nabasa ko lang siya somewhere sa mga wellness ano na personality pag ang una daw na tumataas Yes, yung, is yung chest natin. Ibig sabihin, you are the per, yung personality mo is like more on in control. Yung mga organized. Ooh. Yung mga ano. Or kapag ka, ang nauna yes. naman daw tumataas ay yung stomach natin or abdomen natin, yung core. O, napacheck kayo, di ba? More on your mind. personality na medyo relaxed lang. Mga chill, chill lang na personality yan. yan. Okay? Hindi ko siya maano okay. with research, pero may nabasa akong ganyan. Okay? Alright, so before we go really further in our explanation <laughs> thing, so let's first introduce ourselves. But by the way, viewers, <laughs> thank you very much again. Uh, we're on live, so if you really see... We're very spontaneous here as we do wow. our <laughs> live discussion. But first, I agree to Dr. Janice and Pink. Actually, there's a lot of cold. Yung practice na, uh, yung practice na ginawa natin kanina, it could be um, merong bellow breathing, merong way of doing that oh. also. Merong diaphragmatic breathing, meron din tayo tinatawag na horizontal breathing. So, yes. marami yeah. siyang pangalan, um, maraming ways to do that but tama yung sinabi din ni Pink na you just do it bellow breathing yung inhale mm-hmm. uh, belly mm-hmm. rise or yun yung tumataas and then when you exhale your belly falls down so yun yung talagang proper breathing na uh, be- very basic but anyway so let's introduce ourselves first so uh, welcome to our viewers I am JM Acosta I'm a certified natural health host, um, certified aromatherapist specialist, and I'm a yoga teacher, pranic healer, and also a naturopathy practitioner, and I'm an entrepreneur. So welcome and good morning to all our viewers, and uh, I hope you will have a great time with us, and thank you for continuously tuning in every Tuesday at 10 a.m. Now let's go back to Pink. So yes, again, I'm Pink, a certified natural health coach, a pranic healer, also, an erratic yoga practitioner, a medical yoga therapist. Yes, Pink. I think we are healthcare. having some technical difficulties oh, right oh now. God. Can you guys I'm, hear me? I can hear you. Yes. And okay, naman si Pink sa akin. Siguro. And this is normal to have some technical difficulties now because we're on online. So lastly, I'm single and so ready to mingle. <laughs> All right, Dr. Chan, it's your turn. Uh, hello, good morning, viewers. Thank you again for coming to our weekly show. I'm so happy nandito kayo and sumusubaybay sa amin weekly. I'm Dr. Janice. I'm a physician. My specialization is dermatology. I'm a naturopathic practitioner and also I'm practicing energy medicine. So, welcome. All right, before anything else, ladies, no, happy Father's Day to everyone sa lahat ng tatay, including yung mga parents or guardians na tumatay yung mga ama, mga nagpapakatatay or provider. Happy, happy Father's Day. 
Happy Father's Day! Belated to all the fathers out there. Thank you for doing, doing your best to love your kids and your children. Uh-huh. So, ayan, how's your weekend ma- naman, no? Sa mga viewers natin dyan, meron tayong live chat below. Share us naman, kamusta ang weekend ninyo? And also, kamusta naman ang breathing or paghinga ninyo kanina? Magka- Nakasunod ba tayo ng maayos? Or kailangan pa ba natin ng practice? Comment lang ulit para mabasa namin sa live natin today. So, yes, speaking of weekend, I want to share mine. Sobrang productive and successful ng weekend ko. We just had our uh, fundraising campaign for the workers in the fitness and sports industry. Na, na nawalan din ng work because of this of the current situation and it's called sweat for a cause fitness concert ph where the fundraising is still ongoing we haven't reached our target yet Kaya i'm also inviting you guys to donate whatever amount would greatly help us and so medyo may technical glitch tayo today Again, no, the, si details are the details are flashed on screen. Okay na ba si JM? So the details are flashed on screen kung gusto nyo mag-donate. Para sa ating mga kapatid sa fitness and sports industry. So, thank you, JM. I'm glad that you also help us out in the meditation part of the virtual concert. Right? Yes. Oo nga, medyo nag-hang tayo, okay. no? nagbabak tayo. Anyway, um, JM is right. waiting for you to accept her again sa... Okay. So Sorry, so, uh, I'm having a parang okay. connection problem right now. This is what we cannot avoid pag live mm-hmm. tayo. Ha? So to our viewer, please pardon us for this. Anyway, so where are we right now? No, wala talaga ako. <laughs> okay, nasa na tayo. <laughs> well, so share your personal experience mm. or your weekend muna to us. Ah, okay. Uh, my week, it was a very fruitful weekend. I had um actually several interviews that I made during weekend. Of course, lagging online ano yan, in, uh, parang, di ba, um, tawag dito. Yan na yung parang, yan na yung new normal ngayon when you do your shoot, lahat online na. So, pre-recorded. It's all about health and wellness also. And then, I had a very wonderful weekend with my son. You know, you try to make it always parang um, make the most out of it. Eh, di ba? Kahit laging same, same um, tawag dito. Yung location nyo laging sa bahay. Parang lumalabas yung creativity mo lagi as a parent na anong oh. gagawin mo. Di ba? I don't know, but with other yeah. parents, di ba? Parang kailangan lagi kang may bagong naiisip. But nevertheless, it, so far so good. It was a very fruitful weekend. A very... Um, productive one. So, I had a good uh, chat also with my friends, yung Zoom, Zoom tambahin na tinatawag. So, yan. Uh, and then, of course, I'd like to congratulate Pink pala for your successful program event that happened last Saturday. I, congratulations you. for the sweat for the cause. Um, I am, it was um, successful, I heard, because Zarina is, was part of your event. Um, yun. What makes it easy also is that out, the meditation. Oh, yes. Yeah. So, of course, ano, mm, let's see kung I hope I can be part of that if that's a continued thing pa rin. And let's see the schedule mm-hmm. lang. So, mm-hmm. anyway, big congratulations and thank you again to our viewers for continuously tuning in with us. Yes. How about you, Doc Janice? Can you share us your weekend? 
Ah, uh, yes, Pink. I would like to congratulate you for a very successful Sweat for a Cause na concert. I know you've been busy doing that for months, <laughs> di ba? Yan yung kinakabisi-bisihan mo over the ECQ days pa. Finally, nag-come into fruition na siya and very successful. Congratulations. Sorry, hindi ako naka-attend kasi may clinic ako ng Saturday. So that was what happened during... Ha? Huh? Naka-save siya sa Facebook page. Ah, okay. Sige. I'll try to watch that after. Anyway, di ako naka-attend live kasi I have clinic ng Saturday. So, oh, yun ang yeah. nangyari during my weekend. Mm-hmm. I worked ng weekend, Saturday. Medyo madaming pasyente sa hospital, sa clinic, pagka-weekend. So, that's what I do during weekends mm-hmm. now. And Sunday ko naman, um, dito lang sa bahay, chill-chill lang, relax, watching TV, pahinga. Okay. All right. So thank you, ladies, for sharing us your weekend, though. So um, first, let's move first na naman eh. So now let's move forward <laughs> to our main topic. 15 minutes na, first or not? First pa rin. <laughs> so let's move forward na to our main topic today. So introducing Dr. Air. Yan. This is Yay! Dr. Air. Dr. Air. Natin I hope yes. you experience Dr. Air. No, per, pero seryoso ah, for me, uh, ang effect talaga sa akin ng proper breathing or pag naalala ko, mag-inhale and exhale deeply. No, nakaka-good vibe siya. So, mm-hmm. pag na-stress ako or gusto ko mag-emote, gusto ko lang parang, o kaya umiyak, deep breathing lang, mapapakalma na ako agad. Mm-hmm. I'm back to track, ready na ulit akong lumabas. <laughs> wow. Ako lumabas after breathing. So, it also improves my performance as an athlete. Athlete, athlete lang naman. My concentration, my motivation that I need, no, as an athlete or as an individual, of course. So, how about you, JM and Doc Danny? Who is Dr. Air for you? Okay, thank you for sharing that pic. I agree na. Actually, Dr. Air is very vital in our in our all, overall health system, di ba? Saka, yeah. totoo yan. My personal experience, um, ang laki ng nagagawa ng, ng tulong ni Dr. Ayers in my day-to-day activities. Um, you go back to your parang, it focuses you, you, you parang nasa center ka kagad, di ba? When you're faced with uh, challenges, especially sa mga mommy, no? Parang dito kami kumukuha ng parang strength, di ba? Yung parang, yung pause namin, that's where we gather our strength na deep breathing or maraming namang mga technique to do with deep breathing yeah. or yung parang you count 10 to 20 times before you respond to something very stressful situation or anything, di ba? Parang kasi napiprevent mo yung sarili mo. It's just a matter of practice, actually. It's just a matter of practice and a matter of... Kasi if you keep doing that, parang nagkakaroon na ng memory yung habit forming na parang instead of being reactive to situation immediately, parang meron kang nahuhold back ka and focus on the breath, and then nagsasattle, nag, nag-clear yung mind mo, nagiging parang relax, and then you can think properly, and then mm-hmm. you can respond properly to the situation. Mm-hmm. So, ang laki-laki talaga ng, for me personally, ang laki ng benefit nitong si Dr. Air if we are just being mindful of how to use it and use it properly. So, how about you, Dr. Janice? Ano naman ang personal experience mo kay Dr. Air? Wow, thank you, JM, for sharing your personal experience with Dr. Air. No, I agree, Dr. Air, kasi connection talaga natin yan. Ako mm-hmm. naman, personally, ang relationship, I have a tender and affectionate relationship oh. with Air, no? with Dr. Wow. Air in particular. Ever romantic by nature talaga. Kasi Uh-oh. si Air actually is my connection to the outside world. No? My connection sa asarili ko and at the same time sa outside world. Prior to the pandemic, 
ang favorite pastime ko talaga pag wala akong ginagawa, tambay ako sa cafe. Gusto ko yung mga cafe na medyo spacious, no? And airy. Mm-hmm. Tambay lang ako doon. Bili ako ng tea. Hindi ako pwede mag-coffee kasi sensitive ako sa coffee. Nagpapalpitate ako sa coffee. So, tambay lang ako doon. And then, binamasdan ko lang yung mga tao. I love watching people do their daily activities, no? Mm-hmm. And then, I take in the air that is surrounding me. Mm-hmm. Seems like I cannot get enough of uh, Mother Earth no? taking in si Mother Earth and the environment into me. Kasi yan, yan yung connection natin with Mother, with air. Aside sa beautiful and romantic relationship ko kay air, no? <laughs> din ako not so good personal experience with air because I lost my dad no? with a chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Mm. So, uh, siya naman may lack of air. Okay? So, nakakamatay talaga if we are not taking air properly. Pero yung kanya naman, isinasira yung lungs due to smoking. Mamaya, we'll discuss that further. No? Pero, yes, meron akong good and not so good um experience when it comes to air. Yes. Yeah. So, Dr. So, Dr. Janice, gaano katotoo na marami ang nagkakasakit just because of insufficient supply of oxygen? Lali meno. Okay. Sige, <laughs> didiretso na ba tayo dyan sa, sa diseases or conditions caused by uh, lack of oxygen? Uh, discuss muna siguro natin ang air, no? Ano ba ang air? Air and oxygen, they are different things. Though commonly kasi by uh, common knowledge, no, pag sinabing air, automatic ang nasa isip natin, oxygen. Okay? Mm-hmm. Pero para lang sa uh, kaalaman ng lahat, uh, air is an odorless, tasteless mixture of gas. No, Majority niya, around 78% ay nitrogen. Around mga 21% lang ang oxygen. Okay? The rest, small amounts ng carbon, hydrogen, helium, and others. No? Sama pa natin yung mga uh, particles, mga small solid particles like dust. Okay? So, yun yung mga bumubuo sa air natin. Okay? Pero kasi ang kailangan ng katawan natin, no? Pagdating sa breathing is the oxygen. So ano ba ang oxygen? Well, oxygen is a gaseous element. Part yan siya ng periodic table natin. Familiar tayong lahat dyan from high school. Tama? Hindi. Ano ba ginagawa ng oxygen? <laughs> diba? <laughs> so, uh, uh, so, uh, uh, so ang oxygen ay responsible sa pag-burn ng mga fuels natin sa katawan okay, para maging energy siya. Okay, uh, yung mga fuel natin comes in the form ng kinakain natin na sugar or carbohydrates, no, and fats, no. So, para ma-use up natin yon yung mga kinain natin na yun, kailangan natin ng oxygen kasi i-burn niya yun, so it can turn into energy. Without oxygen, it cannot turn into energy, no. Mm-hmm. So, wala rin tayong energy. Okay, so merong two phases na... Uh, respiration. Okay? Pag sinabi natin respiration, it's yung inhaling and exhaling na pinagawa sa atin ni Pink kanina. When we inhale, that's when we take in the air and the oxygen sa air. Okay? Mm-hmm. It comes into the lungs. Huwag na natin isa-isahin ng mga muscles. Pero kailangan healthy ang oxygen natin para magkaroon tayo ng efficient na exchange ng uh, oxygen. Okay? When we inhale, we take in oxygen, okay? Mm-hmm. And then dinadala siya ng blood into the cells, into the tissues, no? And then when we exhale, inilalabas naman natin yung metabolic waste ng breathing or ng respiration, which is the carbon dioxide, okay? Mm-hmm. So going to, to Pink's question, yung mga sakit, mga ailments na pwede nating makuha dahil sa lack of oxygen. Common actually kasi yung lack of oxygen, okay? pero meron din yung too much oxygen. No? Doon muna tayo, hindi masyado kasi alam ng mga tao yung too much oxygen. Meron tayong tinatawag na oxygen toxicity. No? So yun yung nakakaramdam tayo ng confusion lightheadedness, no? Yun yung mm-hmm. minsan, nagko-convulse tayo, may convulsions and fati- 
fainting spells okay mm-hmm. dahil too much oxygen mamaya let's discuss why we get that it's because primarily hindi tayo nagbi-breathe nang tama no mamaya mm-hmm. di-discuss din yan ni Pinch yeah? and then yung kulang naman sa oxygen Okay, yan ay mga common respiratory diseases natin such as uh, COPD or yung mga chronic obstructive pulmonary diseases like asthma, emphysema. Emphysema that's what my that is what what my dad had, no? Yun mm-hmm. yung uh, kinamatay niya. Emph- Nawala naman si Doc Bian. Yeah, um, yeah. And, um, sorry about that for, for yeah. mga technical difficulties, di ba? Let's just wait for her to come back. Uh, anyway, so Pink and I can continue this, okay. right, Pink, while waiting yes. for Dr. Janice. Or yeah. baka nandiyan na siya. Yeah, na naman baka na- baka agad. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so what we have, we're, what our current passion was, ayan na siya, nawala daw yes. siya. <laughs> okay, papasok na siya ulit. Yes, lumabas siya, syempre makakapasok siya ulit. <laughs> What a beautiful day! So these are the yeah. deep viewers. So baka mamaya ako yung next. Deep, so, oh, oh. Ma- eto, dito natin ma-apply yung mga deep breathing natin when we are facing oh, mga ganitong situation. Yeah, ha ha. Send the link again. Ayan. Oh. As I was saying, Happy, pag ganitong napipaste tayo ng situation, deep breathing lang po, mga viewers. Yeah. Don't get let, uh, don't let this situation, yung mga nakaka-stress, biglang yes. na-stress yes. din tayo. Okay. Let's yeah. go back to the story, Johnny. Ay, so, yes. Sorry! Oo, I'm back. Sorry, okay. I don't know kung bakit ako naputol. Parang breath lang din, naputol. Bawal na naputol ang <laughs> breath, nakakamakay. Oo. Okay, anyway, go, going back. <laughs> Naglalag pa rin tayo. Oo nga eh, late reaction tuloy. Okay, okay, are we... Are we... Okay, Dr. Janice. Ako ba hindi ko uh, na... Go! Okay, nakahang kasi kayong dalawa sa screen. Oh, anyway, sige, continue natin. <laughs> Tayo ang nakahang. Continue natin yung mga, yung mga diseases, no? I think na-cut off ako dun sa uh, obstructive uh, pulmonary diseases such as asthma. Alam na alam natin yan, no? Kapag may mga wheezing, ang hirap puminga. And yung mga may emphysema, okay? Also, pag lack ng oxygen, pwede tayong magkaroon ng anemia. Okay, and of course, mm-hmm. syempre, kapag ka chronic ang lack ng oxygen, it may lead to multiple organ damage. So kapag ka may organ damage, it can lead to failure. Hence, yung death nga na sinasabi natin. And then I remember si Pink, she was asking, how long does it take na Uh, yeah. mayroon tayong lack of oxygen before natin, before tayo makaramdam, no? before mag-start ang disease process. Well, it depends mm-hmm. no, sa chronicity kasi meron namang capacity ang katawan natin to compensate para sa loss. Okay? Mm-hmm. Kaya nga, di ba, meron, kapag ka, yung mga mountain climbers, yung mga very active, no? kapag ka medyo mataas yung altitude, manipis na yung uh, oxygen sa mata. Again, oh. again. <laughs> Dani, Dani, nalagi siya. Oo. Oh, oh. Nalaglag. Oh. Again. Ano? So, she's talking about how uh, gano'ng kabilis, how immediate ba yung effect natin sa tao kapag hindi nakaka-breathe in ng oxygen. Oh, so, Napaka-importante kasi talaga yun. Again. Yes, Doc Janis, ko na bahala. Work. Yes. <laughs> You're back again, Dr. Janice. <laughs> <laughs> ba- bakit ganon? I'm sorry, viewers. Sorry, sorry. Anyway, hinga, hinga. Oh, de- depende sa... <laughs> De- depende sa chronicity kasi nag-a-compensate naman tayo very matalino ang 
katawan. Okay? Pero kapag ka lagi ng uh, may chronic na lack of oxygen or hypoxia na tinatawag, okay? mm-hmm. doon na nagkakaroon ng disease process. Okay? Pero merong mga viruses in particular no, wherein they cause acute na respiratory distress. Okay? Mm-hmm. Kasi ang ginagawa ng itong mga certain viruses na to is they compromise yung capacity ng red blood cell or ng hemoglobin to carry oxygen. Kaya walang oxygen, kaya nagkakaroon ng lack of oxygen. So for everybody's um, kaalaman lang, merong chronic and merong acute. Kung sa activity natin, yeah, yan, usually chronic yan, pero may mga certain pathogens and viruses that may cause acute. So agad-agad mararamdaman natin na nagkakaroon tayo ng respiratory distress. Ayan. Ayan. Pink, so, nakahang kayong dalawa sa akin. I hope <laughs> na-catch ng viewers natin so, yung sinabi ko. Ano ba ang difference ng chronic sa acute? So, our viewers hmm. would know also. Okay. Ah, okay, ah, my, my apologies. Pag sinabi kasi natin chronic, medyo matagal na panahon at saka paulit-ulit. No? Pag sinabing hmm. acute, ngayon lang, and meron na siya agad na uh, meron na agad symptoms meron na agad disease condition na nangyayari and there's a question yes uh, can we read that question? hi Serena good morning thank you for tuning yes. us to for tuning on to us regularly thank you so much ayan doc maybe you answer this first i so, are those apps on the phone that claim to indicate or determine the air quality of an area accurate? Accurate daw ba yung mga apps? Okay, na? pagdating sa mga apps, no, hindi natin masyadong ma-vouch uh, yung kanilang accuracy. Pero kasi may mga phone, I think depende sa phone. Ang pag-work ng app ay depende sa phone, correct? Kasi may mm-hmm. mga phone na na very smart they can detect yung ating heartbeat di ba they can detect yung respiration natin and also yung mga air particles i think depende sa rina depende sa phone kung maganda siya mm-hmm. depende sa specs magwo-work yung app natin pero pag sinabi naman natin kasi accuracy meron lagi bigyan natin at least mga 5% na uh, possible 5%. Uh, ilan? Around 5%. 90 to 95% accuracy. Dapat mga le, mga 5 to 10 lang yung error, yung margin of error niya. Okay? Maybe Pink and um, JM, you have also an, anong tawag dito? You have an opinion regarding this. So for me, About parang, the, go ahead, Pink. Sige. Sige. Parang sa akin, paano ma, ma, ma Paano ma yung tawag dito? Paano ma-detect ng phone yung mm-hmm. mga yung accuracy. quality ng air, yung accuracy paano yon? Yun yung question ko. Ah, uh, okay. Ma- like very para, para, may mga sensor kasi, di ba? Sensor ba? Paano oh, para, Kasi nowadays our mga phones natin, they're very smart mm-hmm. na no, maraming they 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 put a lot of parang technology na to sensor na <laughs> how clear or what, uh, what kind of air or quality of air do you, you have, di ba? But ako, I always go to the basic. Yun yung parang ano ko. I, I, I haven't tried that app actually, Zarina. I haven't tried that app na yung parang today to determine the quality of air you have at home. Um, It's a very basic thing naman na mapipil mo yan. Actually, pag ang bahay mo, um, tawag dito, parang laging sarado, Technically, and then fully centralized. Kaya nga sa mga mall, di ba? Parang you're not really breathing a proper, um, parang quality air when you're inside the mall. So, yun yung mm-hmm. mga things na... Yun um, naman to Doc Jans. Oh, na nawawala na naman siya. Yes. <laughs> but anyway, pinaka... Yes, go yeah, pinaka mas importante siguro, whether we have that kind of app in our phone, the quality of air na malalaman natin is 
Siyempre, back to the basic na buksan natin yung mga pintana natin to come in the fresh air, di ba? To yan, kasi kailangan merong parang ventilation, proper okay. ventilation na tinatawag yeah. sa loob ng bahay natin. Hindi natin hinihinga yung paulit-ulit na air na na nagsisirculate sa loob ng bahay natin. Now, if your house is a centralized na para may mga bahay talaga and some condominiums na talaga nakasarado mga bintana niyan and uh, I once um use uh, para I used to live in a condominium na ganyan yung setup na fully centralized. What uh, I do and nowadays ganyan na rin ang ginade improvise talaga to make sure to have a quality air, bring indoor plants, yung mga living plants talaga, hindi yung mga para for aesthetic purposes, yung mga plants, because there's a lot of plants now na to cleanse and purify the air in the house, so marami tayong ganyang mga mm-hmm. plants now, or um, tawag dito, yun, yun ang masasabi ko na whether you have the app, whether to the de- to determine the quality of air you have in your house or in your condominium is kahit meron ka niya no wala is basic buksan ng bintana provided the fact that you're living in a very clean environment also kasi meron naman na di ba and yung ikaw nandito ka sa ganitong bahay and then your surrounding is under construction so medyo iba din yung nalalaman mo so pag ganyan mga situation na you improvise na. So, that's why I'm saying na bring uh, parang indoor plants, di ba? Mm-hmm. Kasi may mga halaman talaga that really purifies the air and uh, kahit sa loob ng bahay. Yes. So, I hope that later. Uh, uh, I hope I'll answer that answer Zarina's question and other viewers that same uh, question in their mind. Okay, thank you daw, sabi ni Zarina. So, kaya for us thank naturopaths, no, Dr. Air is really important as in proper breathing, good quality of air. But let's first discuss about proper breathing. So, I know that we are not breathing. So, alam ko yung dahilan na most of the times, we are not breathing properly because number one, lagi tayong naka-slouch, lagi tayong nasa computer, ayan, so medyo yung lungs natin medyo naiipit kapag naka-slouch tayo palagi eh. So, number two, sabi sa atin ng mga bata tayo, lalo na sa mga girls, no, kailangan stomach in. Di ba? Pag tumayo daw tayo, stomach in. So, hindi naman pala talaga dapat stomach in palagi. Kailangan, we should breathe properly. Di ba? So, next naman is, ayan, we don't have enough physical exercise. So, ito yung Dahilan din, isa sa mga dahilan kung bakit hindi tayo humihinga ng maayos. And lastly, medyo lagi tayong stress and tense under pressure. So, we tend to breathe shallow and fast. So, mm-hmm. ito yung isa sa mga habit na nakukuha natin when we're stressed, when we're pressured, when we are always tense. So, with these reasons, no, before we proceed to how we breathe, Properly. Doc Janice, can you describe us first? What is a bad breath? Joke. <laughs> <laughs> bad breath, breath talaga. <laughs> I think so bad really. breath, uh, uh, <laughs> ang common, common, uh, common na naisip natin dyan is mabahong hininga. Tama? Then, or halit tawasis na tinatawag. Okay, I'm but I'm like sure... Uh, okay. Yeah. Yes, so I'm sure what breath. you're asking is... Uh, bad breathing practices. Okay. Totoo naman, tama naman lahat ng mga sinabi mo no na sa ngayon hindi na talaga tayo nakaka uh, hinga ng tama. Kasi more than yung uh, paghinga natin no kasi sa, sa sobrang sa sobrang pagmamahal sa atin ni God no ayaw na niyang abalahin pa natin ang sarili natin no with thinking constantly na humihinga tayo. So we even without um ano tayo, even without thinking about it humihinga tayo we continuously breathe on our own no and our heart beats and everything no gumagana ang katawan natin pero kasi it's important then na uh, we are conscious of our breathing kasi pag hindi tayo conscious of our breathing no hindi natin napapansin ang paghinga natin very short and shallow okay 
uh, and at the same time hindi rin natin napapansin no minsan hindi na talaga tayo humihinga lalo na kapag ka ang emotions natin very nandun sa mababang spectrum no like halimbawa galit tayo hindi natin napapansin hindi tayo humihinga we're holding our breath no and at the same time kung laging stress sobrang busy hindi natin napapansin ang breathing natin is very shallow so we're not uh, taking in Uh, air efficiently. So, hindi rin natin nagagamit ng maayos. Mm-hmm. Kaya, yes. so, it's very important na we breathe properly. Kaya, may mga researches, iba-iba, madami out there. Pero, mm-hmm. I think, pare-pareho naman ang sasabihin sa sa'yo, no? It's good na you be conscious at least siguro naman mga 3 to 5 times a day, you be conscious of how you are breathing. Kaya, Meron tayong tinatawag na perfect breath which is 5.5. Kaya ano ba ang ibig sabihin ng 5.5, no? Pag sinabing 5.5, kaya um 5.5 times per minute ang breathing natin. Medyo mababa kasi by uh, medical ano, ang breathing natin should be around 12 to 20 times per minute, no? Pero sabi sa mga bagong researches, no, because there is such a thing as too much breathing. Okay? Too much breathing is not good for the body. So, basa mga research ngayon na lumalabas, 5.5 is very good. No? And then, 5.5 liters of um, oxygen per minute. No? Sa medicine naman, it's around 4 to 6 liters per minute kasi. So, nasa average, 5.5. And then, 5.5 seconds when you inhale. So, 5.5. And then, when you exhale, another 5.5 seconds. Yan yung sinasabi na tawag nila ngayon na perfect breathing. Okay? Yeah. Perfect breathing. Pero ideally, no? We should be very conscious ng apat na bagay when we breathe. Kung conscious na lang din tayo sa breathing natin, then let's focus on first the exhalation. Okay, we'll discuss later the exhalation. Focus yung slow breathing. We'll discuss also the uh, benefit ng slow breathing. And yung breathing less. Okay, uh, ano pa ba? Oh, yung... Tawag dito, breathing sa nose. That's very important. Okay? So, unahin natin na when we breathe, sa nose tayo dapat nag-breathe. No? I think nabanggit ni Pink kanina why we need to breathe through our nose. Well, not because yun talaga ang function ng nose. Kaya ginawa ni Creator ang nose para huminga. It's because ang nose acts as a filter system. No? So kung may mga solid, large particles na nasa air and we inhale it, we breathe in the air, no? na-filter niya, hindi pumapasok sa lungs natin. Okay? Anyway, pumasok man sa lungs natin, meron naman tayong mga macrophages or immune cells na kumakain nun para ma-release natin yung mga uh, particles na hindi sinasadyang pumasok sa lungs natin. Okay. Tapos, also, pagka nag-breathe tayo sa nose, madami kasi, very rich kasi in blood vessels. So, nawa-warm and namumoisen niya yung air. Ang kailangan ng quality na air that we uh, take in should be warm and moist. Okay? So, that's why we breathe sa nose natin. Do not breathe too much sa uh, mouth. Okay, hindi siya ganun ka ganda kasi unang-una hindi na filter pangalawa hindi siya mumoisa and everything else. Okay? Pangalawa, yung tinatawag natin na exhalation. Ideally, kung gaano tayo katagal na nag uh, inhale, ganun din ang exhalation pero mas better kung doble. So if let's say nag-breathe in tayo ng around 4 to 5 seconds, ang exhalation natin around mga mga 8 to 10 seconds, no? Kasi gusto nating ma- ma- ma-release lahat ng uh, metabolic waste from respiration. Ayun natin ang naiiwan siya sa system natin. Kasi kasi it acidifies the body also kapag naiiwan ang carbon dioxide sa lungs natin. So, isa yan sa mga possible na pinagmumula ng 
sakyat. Okay? And then also, bukod sa exhalation, yung slow breathing. Okay? I, kumbaga, inamnamin natin. Okay? Namnamin natin yung air na binibreathe natin. Gift yan sa atin ni God and so beautiful. Okay? Uh, kasi when we breathe slowly, okay, na stimulate naman niya or na-activate niya yung tinatawag natin na vagus nerve. Okay? Vagus nerve sa katawan niya, yung tinatawag natin na wellness nerve. Okay? Kasi it helps us na oh. ma... Oo, oh, oh, it helps us na ma distress, ma-relax, and mag-digest. Okay? Napu nap napupunta tayo sa parasympathetic system natin where we are allowed to rest. No? Kasi nga, very stressful eh. No? Kaya nga sinasabi mo kanina, Pink, na kapag stress ka, pagod, or galet, or emotional, no? take in deep breath no? para nare-relax. Yun yung nangyayari. Na-activate yung vagus nerve natin. And vagus nerve is responsible sa relaxation, rest, and digestion. Yan, okay? And then lastly, okay, natakaw na natin yung sa nose, yung exhalation, yung slow breathing, ay yung breathless. Okay? Kasi kapag ka ang dami-daming short, shallow breath, no? Di rin hmm. natin na you use ng maigi yung tinitake in natin na air or oxygen in particular. So, it may go again doon sa medical, ano natin na 12 to 20 breaths, okay? Pero hindi naman to lagi. Gaya na nasabi ko kanina, around 3 to 5 times per day, be very conscious of your breath and you follow those apat na uh, considerations no, na nabanggit ko. That will help us go through the day and maintain yung magandang pakiramdam natin. Okay. Ayun. Jaya, may dadagdag ka ba? Um, actually, in um, tawag dito relation with the uh, with your parang information, doc. Um, sa akin lagi kasi just be very very mindful with your breathing. Uh, yun nga, di ba? When your intention is into something, it becomes more powerful and uh, visible to you, the effect or the benefits that, diba, Dr. Air is, it has a lot of healing benefits. So, mm -hmm. yung paghinga natin, when we are very into it, you really experience healing from within, diba? So, of course, Dr. Rajani says it in a very uh, scientific um, way so that people, our viewers, would have a basis of uh, parang back of research and studies yan. But in a layman's uh, uh, way naman, in my contribution, just tune into your breath. Just be very, um, tawag dito, focused and mindful when you do your mindful. breathing. Uh, uh, when you do your breathing. In fact, when your intention is into something, which is your breath, the better yung the power, yung uh, breath, breath power, talagang you experience breathing, uh, you experience healing within you. And then yung sinasabi naman yung, I'd like to go back to that ano, question na parang <laughs> bad breath. May mga <laughs> ibang factors din naman, di ba, Doc Janice, Janice, yung pagkakaroon ng ganyang condition. Because right. pwedeng yung uh, colon natin or the stomach, meron yeah. tayong certain condition dyan na pa, kailangan mm -hmm. i-address, di ba, na it has to be something brought, uh, uh, be brought by the doctors. Bakit ka nagkakaroon ng ganyang condition na even you you clean your mouth or you brush your teeth ng regularly. Meron kang ganyan, parang yung hindi nga. Yeah, it's because oh. digestive problem din yan could be a factor, di ba? So, mm -hmm. yan. Kung Pato dyan aware, kasi. Uh, oh, Pato dyan kasi, Jay, ang mga nagkakos niya. No? Ang tawag natin doon ay helicobacter pylori. Yes. Okay? Or H. pylori. Oh, natin natin yan, yan, no? uh, uh, <laughs> pero hindi naman natin pinag-uusapan <laughs> ng bad breath ngayon. I think ang bad breath ay magandang pag-usapan under sa, sa, sa diet. No? Uh -huh. Hindi that's why uh, I mentioned na hindi naman forget mabaw hininga mo <laughs> dahil ganon <laughs> hindi ka hininga ng maayos pwedeng malaming <laughs> underlying factors but nevertheless yeah. going back to our topic of Dr. Air um, for our viewers if you're talagang mindful of your breath na talagang um, nakatune in ka dyan it's just a matter of being yung habitual na yan ang nagiging way of ano mo, healing. 
you really experience um, yung mga subtle um, healing na nangyayari pag you're focused on your breath. Mm -hmm. So that's, I think, I can share for now to our viewers. Okay, so there's a question again from Zarina. I'm going to show it on the screen. There you go. So... Hi, Serena. Thank you for the question. Actually, funny, pero meron ng mga researches actually na lumalabas, no? When it comes to flatulence, yung benefit ng flatulence, though hindi ko siya masyadong inaral, pero I read about it, no? Meron kasing sinasabi na when we pass out, gas, ke? Sulfur in particular, kasama doon. Hindi yun daw ay medyo beneficial. Hindi ko lang siya masyadong na-expound, Serena, hindi ko siya masyadong na-aral, pero meron akong mga nabasa nga na ganyan na meron daw benefit ang Farting. Definitely, may meron siyang benefit. Pero when it comes to inhaling the fart, hindi pa nila masyadong na-expound yan. So, yung, yung, yung sulfur lang ang nakatch ko doon sa research na yun. Eh. Okay? So, pero other than that, maganda siya for, maganda siya for, anong tawag dito, for the digestive process. Pero mm -hmm. sa inhalation, Sorry, hindi ko siya masyadong ano. Hindi ako masyadong, hindi ko pa masyadong uh, familiar. Hindi pa masyadong familiar. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Doc Janice, for answering Lina's question. I hope everyone's learning, somehow getting something out of our discussion. So this is really a good reminder to us. Kahit sa akin, no, nare-remind ako kung na dapat mag- Hinga tayo, huminga tayo ng maayos with mindfulness, uh, focus sa paghinga, lalo na kung feeling natin uh, stress tayo. So, this is, so to breathe properly is so important and crucial for optimal health. And it's very easy, it's free. We can do it almost anywhere, anytime, right? But let us not forget that when we talk about Dr. Air as one of the seven natural doctors, it's not just about breath works or proper, bre proper breathing, but also about quality of the air we breathe in. Lalo na ngayon, we stay home palagi. And yeah, let's talk about naman, uh, about the indoor air quality. Diba, diba? Actually, it can seriously impact our health kasi lagi tayong nasa bahay. So, like, we're so scared lumabas, bawal lumabas. Eh, kamusta naman ba ang loob ng bahay mo? Ano ba yung klase ng air na naaamoy or nasisinghot na hihinga natin sa loob ng bahay natin? Kasi marami ding indoor pollutants. So, that mm -hmm. can cause a wide, wide range of health problems including eye, nose, ano pa, throat irritation or as serious as respiratory diseases then And also heart disease and even cancer. Tama ba, Dr. Janice? So, can you re like react or agree with me, Dr. Janice, yeah. JM? Uh, okay, JM, see, I Dr. think. Okay, um, all right. Uh, yeah, I agree. As I mentioned a while ago, as I gave you um, a, a, a parang... Uh, explanation about that na napaka-importante talaga na yung quality of air that we have in the house is malinis kasi nga pag ang um, bahay mo ay kulob nowadays there are a lot of people diba, living in a condominium or even in the house na naka-centralized talaga sila walang proper ventilation na nangyayari mm -hmm. therefore yung hinihingan ninyo sa yung mga tao sa bahay recirculated lang yung mga hangin yun yung tawag na parang nagkakaroon ng nag na recirculated yung air um if our if we are aware about this mga airborne diseases na hanging in the air like viruses and bacteria those are pathogens actually na umiikot lang din sa bahay mo na hindi nakakalabas kumbaga kayo kayo mm -hmm. nag nag naghihinga nyo yung mga parang recirculated air na which is not healthy kasi nga hindi uh, hindi hindi nagkakaroon ng proper ventilation yung loob ng bahay mo whether you live in a house or in a condominium so yun yung pwedeng maging um 
parang effect. Magkakasakit ka talaga if the if the quality of air that you have in the house is something like that na walang ventilation na you keep uh, mm -hmm. inhaling the same air that uh, uh, mga viruses and bacteria that hang in the air it's there already. So that so before we continue, no, uh, in relation to that, Doc Janice, what's your opinion about this? Uh, that when we are wearing our face mask, we're inhaling also our own carbon monoxide and mm -hmm. our own virus, something like that. Yeah, so um, magkaiba naman kasi ngayon kasi syempre na by nasa law na, no, na bawal munang lumabas in time ng pandemic na walang mask, eh? mostly for protective purposes, protection natin and protection ng mga taong nasa paligid natin. Kaya, pero magkaiba naman kasi yung, uh, anong tawag dito, magkaiba yung intention, okay? for protection mm -hmm. and at the same time yung benefit naman sa atin kaya well definitely mm -hmm. kung ang protection lang ang gusto natin definitely mas lesser yung chances na ma-transmit natin kung carrier man tayo ng virus mas lesser of course yung chances na ma-transmit natin sa ibang tao yung virus okay so that in itself nakuha ng benefit ng pag-wear ng mask okay? pero when it comes naman doon sa atin yung air na tinitake natin definitely everybody will agree naman na nako-compromise talaga Kasi kagaya ng nabanggit ni JM, no, yung paulit-ulit na uh, air, okay? yung in-exhale natin mm -hmm. na air, siya rin actually yung tinitake in natin. So, in the long, parang after some time, numinipis yung oxygen content. Di na siya oxygen, carbon dioxide na actually. What we breathe out is carbon dioxide. Okay? So, yun na yung tinitake in natin. Kaya mapapansin mm -hmm. ng mga tao, kung matagal nang nakamas, hinihingal. Okay? Masama yung pakiramdam, di na masyadong makahinga kasi hindi na tayo nakakatake in ng oxygen. Kaya nga, mm -hmm. hindi rin tayo pinapalabas para hindi tayo mm -hmm. laging nakamas. Correct? So, Stay indoor. I think si JM mamaya will talk about ways wherein we can um, ano tawag dito? We can improve yung quality ng yeah. air sa loob ng bahay natin, no? Pero yes, ako ang recommendation ko kung wala namang uh, gagawin talaga sa labas, okay? Stay na lang sa bahay. Okay, trabaho sa bahay. Very, ano na ngayon ng work from home, di ba? Very, ano nga, um, Tanya, yun na yung trend natin, work from home. Pero hindi tayo laging nag-wear ng mask. And then, sundin natin yung uh, tuturo sa atin ni JM to filter yung air sa bahay para maganda yung quality ng air natin. Yes, but before that, no, uh, gusto ko lang idagdag din na according to the Environmental Protection Agency sa US, two to five times more toxic daw ang indoor environment kaysa sa outdoor environment. So, siguro it also applies in the Philippines, di ba? So, average Americans are spending about 90% of their lives indoors. So, sa dami ng mga pollutants sa loob ng bahay, pinalala pa na kapag walang proper ventilation, kulog yung bahay, or kung humid pa, katulad dito sa Pinas, maalinsangan yung weather, no? mas malala daw, mas concentrated yung, mas kayang i-concentrate ng air, yung mga chemical substances sa air. sa air So, air pollutants sa loob ng bahay, ano nga bang examples? So, yung, mga, yung gas galing sa pagluluto, no? sa pagpapainit, kandila, household cleansers, uh, smoke ng, ng tobacco or ng cigarette. May amag din daw sa air, Doc Janice. Tama ba yun? May amag sa air. Mm, And also yung mga asbestos or chemical formaldehyde na pwedeng natin galing sa materials ng ating mga bahay, condo or offices. So dahil dyan, and also, no, I I will not forget yung mga pang-spray spray lalo natin dito sa bahay. So, JM, what are the natural ways or solutions to have a better indoor air quality okay so, so there's actually a lot um of course 
others now uh, if you heard yung parang they encouraging uh, people to go on natural pati yung mga natural spray yung mga panglinis ng bahay uh, there's a, a lot now in um in Google na mga do it yourself DIY na mga natural cleanser de ba yung ginagamit but nevertheless para for for make it um yung mga viewers natin mas madaling makaano sila relate like what I've mentioned nga, yung mga indoor plants, maraming actually indoor plants ngayon na cleanses and purifies the air at home, no? Na actually basically plants are 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 are, are good ways to to ano to to clean the air kahit may, may kahit outdoor or indoor yan because technically they breathe eh, parang they also breathe ano eh parang releasing air yung ta, tapos yung mm-hmm. air na ine exhale ng mga tao they are absorbing that and then yung nilalabas nilang actually ng um, air sila yung yun yung hinihinga natin yung mga malilinis na may mga ganung concept talaga di ba na yung carbon dioxide na ine exhale nating mga tao sila nag-absorb niyan kasi that strengthen them di ba parang ganun but also aromatherapy yung mga essential oils um a lot of essential oils um the the one that you can easily find in the market is yung mga lavender, um, mga frankincense, mga peppermint, and eucalyptus. Those are the easiest one that can easy uh, find in the market. You can diffuse that. May mga diffuser tayo. It cleanses the air also. And the uh, um, tawag dito. Of course, um, never, um, pinakamaganda pa rin, provided the fact that you're living in a clean environment, open your windows para magkaroon pa rin ng proper, proper ventilation tayo sa loob ng bahay. Uh, hindi naman actually mahirap gawin yung mga yan dahil nowadays napakadami ng mga if you cannot be go back to the pure nature kind of living, at least mm-hmm. closest to the nature we're trying to achieve here, especially people who live in this kind of environment now, yung iba, condo, condo living sila, di ba? So, um, kahit naman ganun yung kind of lifestyle mo na hindi ka nasa, talaga kasing kailangan, kung gusto mo talaga ng pure air, nasa woods, forest, or nasa province ka nakatira na very, yung province mo hindi pa talagang contaminated and polluted din kasi kahit sa mga probinsya ngayon iba na rin ang quality ng air na meron, di ba? So, the one that closes to the nature so you bring nature to your home just like uh, putting mga indoor plants, di ba? Marami nga you can search that uh, snake plants, yung mga photos na tinatawag na plants na talagang nagpapalinis talaga yan, may mga uh, research for that and then mga some essential oils mm. na Ayun, um, those are the things that you can do na hindi naman siya mahirap, hindi rin naman siya ganun ka, mga plants, maraming plants na hindi rin naman ganun ka pricey that you can just put mm-hmm. in the corner of your home, in your house na talagang, not only that it cleanses the air, um, ang lakas din ng iniimit nilang vibes na positive vibes pag meron kang mga living plants talaga, yung mga and kasi may mga aesthetic plants mga plastic dapat yung mga living plants so those are the things that you can do to your house to come up with quality air so ngayong nandito tayo sa ganitong situation that uh, na, na mas actually na pop lagi tayong nasa bahay ganyan yung gawin natin in either we diffuse mga essential oils and um, or put indoor plants in our home or in the condominium that if we live mm-hmm. in the condominium. So, yun. So, I super agree with you, JM. No, In fact, there are studies already and experiments done which proves that plants can remove 80% and above of the chemicals present in the air within 20 12 hours time frame. So, in 12 hours, pwede niyang Correct. ma-absorb lahat or like 80% and above. Mat- mataas na percentage yun, no? Yes. And so next, uh, moving forward, when we say Dr. Air, last but not the least, is about our respiratory system or our lungs. Jim, can you give us tips on how we can strengthen or enhance our lungs health? Are there best practices or best food for the lungs? 
Okay. So, okay, for the lambs, for the lambs, no, merong mga herbs naman talaga na parang not only for for total parang to strengthen our uh, vitality that can, that also include our lungs, yung mga ginger, yung mga garlic, when you concoct those things, when you boil these things sa, sa herbology natin, di ba? Yung mga oregano. Yes. Yun. So, yun. When you, when you concoct or uh, boil them and drink mm -hmm. them, mm -hmm. actually, nakakapagpalaka siya talaga ng respiratory system natin. And of course, the organs natin, yung lungs natin. Na, nowadays, it's very, very important. O kaya naman, essential oils also, there you can, um, either you diffuse these oils, yung mga therapeutic grade essential oils, or you massage, you, you dilute them to, to a carrier oil, like yung mga coconut oil natin, and then you massage that at the back of your, at your back. So actually, if you really get the therapeutic grade essential oil, it has a power to penetrate not only kahit gawin mo siyang transdermal, that's what you call the transdermal uh, way, yung parang yung, yung benefit nitong pinapayad mo sa katawan mo, it penetrates um, your blood vessels. Which agad, is agad. very, oo, agad-agad na-absorb. So basta therapeutic grade essential oil, quality oil, yung mga carrier oil mo. So those are the things na very easy thing, uh, very easy to do. And then uh, kung gusto mo rin naman mang in steam inhalation yung steam inhalation put essential oil also there to ano para cleanses the uh, lungs so those are the easiest mga madadaling bagay na pwede nating gawin sa bahay natin na uh, not only cleanses the air but when we breathe that like yung essential oil nga when we diffuse it also strengthen our respiratory system yes yeah, so Prevention is better than cure. Than cure, right? yes. So that is true. Diet also plays a key role in our respiratory health. And incorporating these few foods na nabanggit ni JM, ginger, uh, garlic, oregano, these are good for your lungs. And also, uh, this food can help decrease inflammation or it can help the risk of inflammation in our respiratory system. So it will improve pulmonary function and help heal our respiratory tract. So kasama ng vitamins, minerals, and active antioxidants sa mga pagkain na kinakain natin. So ito yung mga food na na-research talaga. Na they have the ability to enhance lung health and protect against a number of respiratory conditions. So finally... Kung gusto natin lumabas at kung pwede na bang lumabas talaga, meron bang mga place dito sa Metro Manila na okay ang quality ng air na you could recommend, Doc Janice and JM? Maybe so, Doc Janice can do first. Okay. Yan. Pwede ka na magsalita, Doc Janice. Ayun. naka oh, daw follow, yan, Tasha. Okay. Uh, Apologies, maingay ka sa may kapitbahay ako na merong nagko-construct. Okay? Um, ako kasi taga-QC, no? So, ang alam ko, do hindi ko siya masyadong pinifrequent kasi ako dati, cafe lang, upo lang ako sa cafe, okay na ako. Pero syempre, I would recommend yung uh, park, no? Hindi, lagi kong naririnig the Quezon City Circle, madaming pumupunta doon for biking. Oh, hindi ako masyado pang nakapunta doon pero meron na ako nakapunta ha. Actually hindi, no? naririnig ko lang na yun yung mga taga-QC doon nila gustong pumasyal. Pero meron akong napuntahan na yes, I would recommend na no, dati. Uh, yeah, nakipag-date na ako doon, embarrassingly. No? Sa love na <laughs> may ganun na nag-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a
noon, okay, noon, ang pinakamadali sa amin, of course, ng anak ko. Doon nga sa sinabi ninyo, uh, kasi very open sa ka, ang dami niyang mga puno doon sa club na yon. But also, around Makati, merong mga Ayala Park Triangle that we just put mga things there, Salcedo Park, Legaspi Park, lalo na pag may mga Sunday market or Saturday market dyan, napakasarap pumunta dyan. Dahil ang ganda talaga ng ano nila, pagkakagawa ng mga park nila doon, they put a lot of trees and plants talaga doon. But of course now, dahil I myself, and I don't... um go there right now. Hindi ko rin siya marerecommend now that I'm living in Makati. Uh, I would um, maybe later on when everything is settled in our country, in our places. But uh, I would strongly recommend to stay at home and just do what we just have uh, given to our viewers, yung mga parang to have a proper ventilation and have a quality air in their house, in their condominium, is to put mga indoor plants, mga living plants, and then diffuse some essential oils like mm -hmm. lavender and frankincense, peppermint or and eucalyptus. And uh, be mindful of their breath since nasa bahay sila, di ba? Whether they are super busy, work from home. I noticed nga din ngayon na kahit pala talagang nasa bahay ka, mas, naka, mas busy ka, mas marami kang gagawin pala. So, yun. So, parang to improve the quality of air that we have in our house and we enjoy staying at uh, home, put those mga living plants, indoor plants, and diffuse essential oil. And then be mindful of our bread because bread is power actually yeah so to wrap everything up no dr air as one of the seven nature's doctors it's all about proper breathing good quality of air and enhancing lung health through the other nature doctors na uh na namin here in our channel so i'm so glad jm and doc janice for this very informative and healthy chikahan and to our viewers there we really we really appreciate your presence for tuning in uh, to us all the way you know for more almost two hours so jm um okay so thank you so much again to all to all our viewers um Thank you for continuously tuning uh, uh, with us every Tuesday at 10 in the morning and learn and um, get some information that will really help us now. Um, may I encourage everyone to subscribe to all our channel for uh, for today. We are in Holistic um, at Things channel actually. And next Tuesday, we will be in JM's Into, Na uh, Into Naturopathy in YouTube channel. And then follow us in our page. Mine is JM's Journey Into Naturopathy, which is at FD. You can follow me there. We also provide um, online cons um, consultation assessment. We do assessment and um, um, consultation to our viewers. Uh, you can reach us in our page. And thank you very much again, and hope to see you again on Tuesday next week. All right, Doc Janice. Yeah, thank you, viewers, no, for always tuning in every Tuesday sa talk namin. Um, ang last ano ko lang is, yeah, be very conscious of your breathing. Very important ang breathing, no? So, at least three to five times a day, be very conscious of how you are breathing para sa health natin. Mm -hmm. And then, yes, you can reach me via my FB page. Is It's Skin and Soul, uh, Heart, Body, Mind, Medicine. And you can email me here uh, at janiscastormd at yahoo.com. Thank you for tuning in and we'll see you again next Tuesday. So, all right, this is Pink again. I am a certified natural health coach, panic healer, medical yoga therapist for detox, fitness programs, virtual workout with me, and panic healing sessions. Just send me a message on or to my Instagram or Facebook page, Holistic Pink. See you again next week, guys, on JM Naturopathy channel for the next natural doctor. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.